Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nero Asneo. I have a beauty review for us today. I have picked up, of course, the Sicily Powder Phytro Poudre Libre Loose Face Powder in the color Sable 4, which is the darkest one. I also have my refer brushes. I, I so hope I'm saying that right. Um, I use somebody's link to pick up the refer concept, or is it the core concept? I don't know what these brushes are called, but I picked them up. They were 50% uh, off, $80 off. I don't know. I picked these up and I've played with them today and of course also my this. So here, let's watch. If <laughs> First, down to business, if you have been here before, thank you so much for coming back. You guys are the real MVP. I always appreciate the support and the love and the people that I met while I've been on YouTube. Uh, and of course, whether we're discussing makeup, we're discussing handbags, <laughs> we like to cover both here. So I really like it when the handbag lovers come back for the makeup and when the makeup lovers come back for the handbags, it's all good. If you're new, well, you just heard a spiel about what I'm all about and I'm trying to learn how to keep it short these days because people's attention is tiny, tiny, tiny. But if you're new, watch the video, see what you guys think. Uh, I'd love to hear your thoughts. And yeah, we're discussing today the Sicily powder. Uh, which I love. It is the loose face powder with hibiscus flower extract. Uh, I don't know if that does anything different or not, but it is a fantastic. Um, the main ingredients are talc, silica, dimethicone, tocopherol acetate, which is vitamin E, and then it has malva sylvestris, which is mallow flower extract, and then a whole bunch of different extracts, tilia quadrata, hib hibiscus, da da da. And then ethylene colopolymer water, interesting watering. Um, and then I think after that starts a lot of the uh, preservatives, um, usually the words I don't know how to pronounce. And then towards the bottom, we also have a little bit of fragrance and a couple of dyes, micro, blah, 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 blah. And the description on the box says, an airy powder that is as light as a veil, soft as a caress, unifies the complexion, smooths the finish, and fixes makeup with a translucent finish, gives a natural result, a velvety and luminous finish, and a comfortable feeling all day long. That much, I agree with. I put this on, I forget I'm wearing it, I loved it. Enriched, enriched with vegetable origin active care ingredients, preserves the skin's hydration and suppleness. So now if you've watched my channel, you know I'm a dry skin girl and if I'm wearing powder, which isn't every day, but if I am primer first, my uh, foundation, and then of course my, uh, that gets me ready to be able to wear uh, powders. Now, what was I gonna say? Yeah, okay. Oh, I am wearing the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation on today. Uh, okay, so back to Sicily. This is what it looks like. It is loose powder, 24 months, 12 grams, so 0 0.042 worth of powder. This was an extraordinary $97 for this uh, little container, although I was lucky and managed to pick it up during the Cosbar sale. Don't sleep on Cosbar, guys. They have some really great products there. Um, and I think I got it for less than $60. It was like 40% off. So I got a really good deal. But you do get a fair amount of product in it, and that is absolutely fantastic. It's the best because it has a mirror. I mean, when I opened this the first time, I was like, a mirror. A mirror inside a loose powder. Uh, this is one of the reasons I personally don't like to travel, definitely to travel with loose powders because there's no mirror. Uh, for me, the whole thing about uh, compact is the fact that it can be in my handbag, I can whip it open, I can use the mirror and see what I look like. And you don't have that option with a loose powder, so I don't like it. Also, loose powders are just messy to travel with because it's a disaster waiting to happen, but you know, I would try it. I would put this inside a little like a zippy lock bag and take my chances with it because ta-da, it has a mirror. Genius, I wish more high-end loose powders would do that. It has its own, ah! I keep doing this. It has its little powder blush here and actually that gives a really good representation of what the color uh, sable looks like. I'm gonna just dust that off. I have kept the sifter that goes in here. I clearly forgot to put it back in this time, but oh well. 
stuff happens and of course this is what the powder looks like on the inside and I'm gonna do something I like to do lately it's a little blow test that'll give you a great idea of how fine or oh, should I say finely milled the powder is you see that you see how it just like locked it up you see that I hope you could see it um, that to me is always like a really good sign of a powder that is just light as air I love it Boy. Oh boy. Oh, too much. Making a mess. I'm gonna pop to the video where I'm putting it on now. I did use my Lame the powder brush, which is my favorite powder brush, and I think amazing. Um, between this and my Chukahuda brush, it's gone. Um, and then, of course, I used the face brushes here from refer and also I'm not too sure what these ones are I believe this one is a highlight brush I used it to highlight and put some bronzer on my face no I used it to put cheeks and bronzer on my face and then this I just used to just go ahead and uh, add the highlight a little bit because you know why not um yeah dress it up a little bit and this is the look I came up with so we'll watch the video and then I'll yeah so here we go, starting off with using my Too Faced Glitter Glue because uh, I am using a shiny uh, makeup so I wanted it to stick to my eyelids. I am trying my refer brushes, very excited to try these. I'm going to go in with Morphe in the beginning, use the Morphe 35S palette that I received as a gift from a fellow YouTuber. Thank you. Um, I've been really working hard on my blending skills and I like these refer brushes because uh, they definitely were very soft, very pliable and not scratchy at all. Here we go now with more of a paddle brush doing the uh, metallic, that's the Pat McGrath subliminal mothership but it's just a six pan and I really liked it. I like I like Pat McGrath, of course, who doesn't, but the brush did a really good job. The refer brush did a really good job of ripping uh, the color. Uh, I feel like there was very little fallout on my face, like I didn't have to clean up afterwards. Um, so there I go, blend, 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 because I have to get better at product placement uh, on my eyelids, because these hooded eyes are something else. <laughs> They make it challenging, but it get better. So now I'm placing it higher up on my eyelid because I feel like my puffy eyelids sometimes swallow up the crease shadow. So this really just helps to make it, give me a bit more definition. Um, yeah, very smooth these rougher brushes. Not scratchy at all. They are goat hair and I know some people don't like that. But I don't have a problem with it. I'm now grabbing the highlighter brush and the powder brush from the Refer Collection. I'm going to head and do a little bit of blush. I'm using my NARS palette there. So I'm getting just a little bit of color on my cheeks. Oh gosh, I can't stop speaking about how soft these brushes are. I'm really excited to have them in my collection. Also going to go in with my Girl On, the original number eight Ebony Girl On bronzer. Of course, discontinued. Great travesty. Looks fantastic. Works well with this wrapper brush. And now, honestly, for the star of the show, here we go. Here is the amazing Sisley powder. Packaging is flawless. That Mera, that Mera, that Mera. Well thought out, Sicily. Thank you so much for including a Mera in your a loose powder container. And I'm using my La Mer, the powder brush, which is my favorite powder brush. It's so big, so fluffy. It's so fluffy. And look at that. Just buffing it straight onto the skin. Just easy, easy, easy. It's really just easy to put this all over, buffing it in, using it to tie in the look, using it in to finish and set the makeup. Really, really great uh, powder. We'll just keep using this over and over. Remember to prep your skin. Uh, if you have dry skin, there's a moisturizing primer underneath. And really, you should be set. A little bit more bronzer. Because apparently, you need all the bronzer in the world. And then, here's the finished look. Let me get my YouTube 
beauty gooey stance just right tilt the head look at the camera smile nod your head again smile some more hello oh guys I am not even gonna lie I now know why uh, the amazing Mel Thompson raves about this powder it is amazing um, I know that if you watch her older videos I'm sure there's newer videos now where she's raving about a different powder but in some of her older videos she talks about the original La Mer the powder and how she would go through those all the time and then she talks about how the Sicily was like the closest thing uh, she found to the how the Sicily is like the closest thing she's found to the original La Merida powder and I've been wanting this for so long because my favorite loose powder is the original La Mer and I don't use loose powder a lot but I've always wanted something to replace that one because let's be honest that one been discontinued now a couple of years and uh, I'm looking at it because it's over there um, yeah I still have more than half the top to go there's one thing in the world I will never run out of at this point it's loose powder I've got the La Mer I've got the Chanel I've got this I've got cover effects I'm covered there I know but here we are um, anyway sticks to the topic um, and I have to say I agree with her I find this as light and as airy as the La Mer so absolutely good job on that one it's also the same price point as the La Mer painful but which is why it was really really nice to find it on sale um Cicely also a couple of months ago has sent out like a 25% off uh on their website so I don't know they did that I saw it on somebody else's uh YouTube page and I was like oh so that would have been a really good deal but of course Cosby came through with a 40% off and that was the best deal that really made this comparable to my Chanel powder so Thank you, Cosba. I love you guys. I really do. So, would I recommend this? Yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. If you can get this, please do. It's it's worth the money. I don't know if it's worth ninety-seven dollars, but because uh, I never bought it at that price, so I don't think it's worth ninety-seven dollars. It's a powder. It's not gonna take you out for dinner and give you an orgasm. You know what I'm saying? It might get you close though, because you would look flawless. Mm. So yeah. Uh, I think I would have happily paid like $70, $75 for this. I, I would have paid that much for this. I thought it was fantastic. Um, lucky for me, I didn't have to. But anyway, uh, but is this a really great powder? Yes, 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 yes. If I'm looking at the powders that I've mentioned, I would rate the second. Original La Mer first, always. Uh, then my Cicely, then this Chanel, definitely. Gorgeous. So I do highly recommend this. I like the color Sable. It's a translucent powder, but it's not, it doesn't leave a white shadow. I mean, <laughs> a white cast. Um, I feel like it really is so finely milled and that it just settles in perfectly. So it's a really great setting powder. Uh, in the video, I have used it under my eyes on top of my uh, concealer. Could I find a better like blurring powder underneath the eyes? Yes. Uh, as a dry skin girl, I don't feel like I need that. Um, let me check myself there. <clears throat> I'm sure as a dry skin girl, I could find a better blurring powder for underneath the eyes. I've been thinking about the Pat McGrath. But anyway, um, but as a finishing powder, this is fantastic. It just really gets the makeup to all kind of tie in together and look pulled in together and I haven't used like a setting spray or anything like that afterwards although I should. <laughs> uh, of course this is my Omorovica it is the magic moisture mist which is amazing smell of that it just I don't know where it takes me somewhere um yeah I mean I think Sicily has really really good products um it's a really high price point though so I'm always looking for it either on sale or if I can get one of those beauty gift cards events it is uh is it on the Sephora website if it is now would be a good time to pick it up for 20% off always check Cosbar they have great sales uh, and then also check Saks and Neiman's because, you know, like twice a month they have a gift card event and more than often it now includes beauty. So you can get it, uh, at least get a gift card, get, at least get a gift card back. So 
there you go um so i'm gonna wrap this up because you know i was getting ready i'm ready now and i am going to wish you guys the best day and i'm going to remind you to choose happiness it's a choice it's a choice you get to make every day oh you get to choose how you feel make the right choice thanks guys uh did i say hit the subscribe button because if i didn't hit the subscribe